Imagine not just watching a movie, but actually being immersed in it. Oculus Rift technology may change the way we experience films, there's Simone, by putting the viewer right in the middle of all the action. All right, the future of watching movies is here, and so is Simone. Boy, she's taking off the mask. She's not going like this anymore. <laughs> she's got to tell us how it all works. Yes, yeah, so back in February, we brought you an early hands-on look at the virtual reality device called the Oculus mm -hmm. Rift, which is what you see on screen right now, and that's a headset that creates an interactive 3D environment environment everywhere you look. So we're seeing a lot of gadgets like this pop up in the marketplace. As these become more mainstream, they could change the way we play video games or watch television and movies. So in anticipation for the huge science fiction blockbuster Interstellar starring Matthew McConaughey, Paramount Pictures is offering fans a sneak peek of the film through that Oculus Rift at the AMC Lowe's Theater in Lincoln Square. And you already know I was first in line. Mm. Whoa, this is extremely disorienting. It actually feels like I'm floating. There's a pen floating in front of me. Whoa, flying through the spaceship. Wow. So basically what this does, this interactive experience, it drops you inside the spaceship endurance that Matthew McConaughey's character pilots in the film. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of that mm -hmm. in the film. He uh, is an astronaut who is on a mission to save mankind. Mm -hmm. So at the uh, at the installation, there's also an audio component giving you directions and guiding you through the different components of the spaceship so that you can complete your mini mission. And it feels very realistic, mm. but don't take my award for it. I met some fellow movie fans who also found it to be quite lifelike. Oh, okay. I thought it was awesome. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it might have been like a scene from a movie, which I didn't really want because I didn't want anything to be really given away before I saw the film. But uh, I was glad that it was more and more like a virtual reality experience. There were definitely moments where I was going through the ship and there was like a ledge and I thought I had to lift my legs. There was a laptop I thought I could reach out for. So I almost felt dumb a couple times. I was like, I know it's not real, but it feels real. Wow, that's a good endorsement. Yeah, it's very impressive how they were able to recreate the zero gravity effect. I also found myself trying to reach out for the pens and kind of like swimming through the spaceship Sweet. like this. Unfortunately, they didn't release any video because Christopher Nolan, the director of the film, likes to oh, keep things right. under lock and key. But if you check out my Twitter right now, I'm going to post a still image of what I was seeing in the headset. And if you want to do this too, you can, you can check it out during the theater's normal business hours today through tomorrow before it moves on to other cities. Cities, and the movie comes out on November 7th. That's pretty cool. The movie does look good. I saw it during the Gone Girl premiere of exactly. it. Exactly. You know, it looked, it looked really no, good. He saw Gone Girl. Oh, I nice. We have so much that. to talk oh, about yeah. tonight. I know. It was good. I liked it. <laughs>